All right, so here's time lapse two of this. Breaking this out into sections. I noticed this uh, in ZBrush, the new ZBrush that has back face culling. Let me rewind that just for a sec. So here, I see that the forms are squishing up against each other, and especially right. right here see how the forms are decompressing onto each other and usually that doesn't happen so you know a car a culprit right there is a good example a culprit of this is the fact that it's it's back facing the other sculpt so uh, to counteract that what I do is I go up into the menu And I end up going into um, the auto masking feature and turn on back face on calling. That'll help just a little bit. But in the long run, what I wanted to do is make some interesting forms. So I puff up the geometry using the inflate tool. Again, more muscle noise. But then I take a turn here. You know, I really want to kind of think about these legs because in evolution, these legs probably would have fell off about a oh, hundred years later. <laughs> they're there. They're useful. They they look cool sometimes, but I don't know if they're all that practical. So I I was gonna go for a more of a insect type where it becomes. A big thick thing that goes to a stick okay and that would make it so the characters legs could probably you know pivot in all directions in that area then I wanted to kind of reinforce that with uh, of course the pointy feet so the the jury's still out on this you know I might just go back and change all of it but Because the only thing I don't like is how the forms balance with each other on the rest of the sculpt. So this is time lapse 2 and let's go into the sculpt again. 